All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Malsberg panel and on said panel, C. Edmund Wright, columnist for Breitbart.com and the American thinker and author of WTF, how Karl Rove uh, and the Republicans lost again. David Swerdluck, assistant editor at Post Everything at the Washington Post. And uh, David uh, and Edmund, welcome aboard. I, I want to start with this um, and, and start with you, David, um, the coverage of the shooter from uh, the Virginia uh, TV shooting, uh, Horrific Crime. Um, this guy was black, he was gay, he wanted a race war, um, he, he owned uh, uh, homosexual or gay porn sites, uh, and all we're hearing about is gun control, gun, gun, gun. Um, I mean, it, you know, if this was a white shooter, <laughs> we'd be hearing that he was a racist, like in, uh, in, in, in the, the church shooting. What, what, why is the coverage here so different and so uh, generic and so uh, really sanitized? Well, Steve, look, based on what we've learned, I, I think it's fair to say that race factored into this guy's psyche. None of us is a psychiatrist. But in terms of the coverage, look, um, you know, the, I think the station manager at the Virginia station, the Roanoke station, gave one of the best statements, which is, let's cover what this guy said and what this guy did not getting in trying to get into his mind wait a minute but, but i don't care what the station manager said david yeah. because when when it's when it's a white guy uh and and, and he's shooting blacks uh then it's uh, then it's banned the confederate flag i mean it, I, what, 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 it's a double standard well the confederate flag Band Forget the Confederate flag. It's right? all about, it, look, it, you can't ignore race. You said this was race, but all of a sudden, because it's a black gay guy, we're going to forget about what was in his head, Edmund. Whoa, and we're going to just, whoa, whoa, get, whoa, go ahead, wait, David. Wait, wait. Based on what I've read of, the, of his note or his manifesto, race factored in. I don't know what him being gay has to do with it, first of all. And number two, it, what flag was he displaying that could be banned here well, right? he was, I mean, he, well in his house he had the uh, the rainbow flag i'm not even bringing yeah. that up but that's not the point you admit that that we should not you, you you're saying the media is following the lead of the general manager and i want to go to edmund that we shouldn't try to get in his head let's just focus on what he did you know what this is plus edmund he had an, once got reprimanded for wearing an obama button during a stand-up so he was an obama loving uh well, that, was gay, poor, that was poor gay journalism racist excuse me and wasn't it Obama who said, if they bring a knife to the fight, I bring a gun? Didn't they try to indict Sarah Palin for the shooting in, of Gabby Giffords because she put crosshairs on a website? I mean, the double standard here just stinks to high heaven, Edmund. You know, it's funny you bring up Sarah Palin. I was going to mention that. that uh, I was going to see how the, the left was going to try and bring Sarah Palin and that little graphic on the website into this. Um, it clearly is a little bit inconvenient when you have uh, a liberal, black, gay, uh, unemployed reporter doing it. Uh, apparently, Steve, he was not very happy, not very good at what he did, uh, and not very well liked by his people at work. I mean, it's just a sad case. But again, uh, the bodies were not even cool, and I hate to be so crass, but that's literally true. The bodies were not even cool when the left, Terry McAuliffe, Hillary Clinton, etc., we're already out making this a issue of gun control, uh, but I don't know how in the world you keep guns out of the hands of uh, uh, gay, black, uh, liberal journalists. Who, I think who, 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 by the way, get, who, two, two David, things. David, who, by the way, passed a background check and had never been classified or designated by any mental authority as mentally ill. Two things. One, I don't really take issue with the way Edmund characterized uh, Vester Flanagan, the shooter, or the alleged shooter, or the deceased shooter, however you want to characterize him. But one, I, I don't see how this is a media double standard, number one. And number two, look, liberal politicians are in favor of gun control. If conservatives are against more gun control, that's fine, let's have a debate. But I don't understand why they expect people who are for gun control not to advocate for I gun don't. control. I, I expect them not to advocate it before the bodies are even room temperature. That's what I would expect. Not well, only I, that, David, not only that, guys. Wait, wait, one other thing. On one, one other very important thing. And we got less than that. The governor of Virginia came out and, and yeah. made his spiel on guns and guns and background checks. And then they, someone asked him, are you aware that the, uh, the shooter passed the background check? He said, uh, uh, no, I wasn't aware of that. They're fools is what they are. 
I'm not for banning things. I wasn't per se for banning the Confederate flag, but there's no double standard. No there double was no standard. comparable flag that this guy Forget was the flag. If this guy, they're not talking about him right. saying I wanted a race war. He wanted a race war. I mean, well, for crying out loud. This, there was no flag. Forget there the was flag. No flag. But, well, final word, Edmund. Uh, yeah, if, if the guy, if, if this had been a white Tea Party shooter, that would have been the entire... Who wore a Trump button, by the way. Imagine that. That would have been the end. Donald Trump spurred him on to do it. I'll bring a gun to a knife fight. Shh, Obama never said that. All right, folks, up next, John Zogby. But first, Hillary Clinton's email scandal continues to make news. Did she break the law? We want to know what you think. Go to NewsmaxPolls.com to cast your vote. That's NewsmaxPolls.com. Why don't you do that right now and let your voice be heard?